In spite of all that I have lost, I myself am present. I love life ferociously. I love life for life's sake. Birth gives us the green light. Man helps us with the red. Birth gives us the green light. We can say the sky is available no matter where you are, it's the same sky, mm -hmm. whatever country you are living in. You can't move any further if you are insecure. Mm -hmm. I go through Libra Road and then through Hackney. Because I used to work, last time I used to work at the WP department, and one of the workers they used to live in Chingford, so he used to pick me up from Waltham. So that's how I learned the route. Coming and going, like the distance that there is between people when you walk alongside them. I came out of the UK, no one checked my passport. I went into Switzerland and I came out of the train station and then no one checked my passport. And I was like, wait, second, like maybe I've done something wrong. So I went back and spoke to the guy and said, hey, is there like a passport? He said, no, no, just go. And so that was like the first time in my life that I had that I could travel freely. And I, could, I just couldn't believe it myself. It felt amazing. It felt, I just felt like, then I realized that maybe I was the same as everyone living here. That was the first time I felt like that. Because every time whenever there's some, something to do with travel, I never do it because I know I have to apply for a visa and the process is long, so I never do it. But this time, after I left London, I felt like that. Going out of London and coming back to London was the hardest place of the whole journey because of the immigration stuff. But once I entered Europe, it was just like I was any other ordinary person. It's like cargo really, bing, 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 bing. It's like everyone's in a box. We're not there yet, like we have never really arrived, never quite there, like we have not completed the journey yet. The goalpost is always further. You've done this, but that's not good enough. We need you to do this, yeah. A lot of people have done this. It would be great if you could do that. Welcome to my room. Room number 12 at the house. That's my room. No, it's not about restrictness, it's about safety. Mm. So safety uh, of your, you and your children, it's a basic, basic step. You can't move any further if you are insecure. Mm.
is one of the places where sometimes I, th I sit at this time. Just sit here, drinking coffee, watching people. That's the entrance of the famous Berry House. Yep, it's amazing building. It's a great place. London is too, because there's too many people that look like you, mm. to feel unsafe. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's different. The you know, the status yeah. thing, it does, it's not apparent. Mm. Let's say if someone first looks at me, they won't think, oh, he doesn't have, let's say, a British passport. Yeah. But there's so many people that look like me that you feel comfortable with. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. If you think that racial abuse does not happen in the UK, we'll think again. And it happens not only in the UK, but here in London and here in Canada. You don't, I, I didn't see borders anymore. I, I went from one, we were going on the trains and then we were like, oh, we just entered Italy now. But before you see borders as, you know, big rules and big restrictions, it, there has to be like a border control, but here we just sent it for one to another country, like a diff like it was a city. Yeah, yeah. So that felt really nice. That's great. In my free time, what I like to do is just go into charity shops, and then mm -hmm. I just shop there. On my daily, uh, weekly, I'll maybe go once or twice. So we like to make a bunch of clothes that are in good condition, and then we just yeah. send it back to Pakistan. And now I'm going to gym, me and Muhammad. That's how we spend our day. And we're off. That's my friend Mohammed. We just finished the gym. And that's me. We are in Dalit Pleasure Center. And now going back to Berry House. Let's have the famous food. Catch you later. You pay £90,000 a year, but then they don't let you in. They just say, "Oh, well, go to the library. But mm -hmm. they don't let you, we're just going to stay in the room and do work. We're not going to do anything else, but mm -hmm. they see us and then they'll kick us out and they'll lock us the next day. later then I have to get night buses which is like two hours to get so it's like I have a restriction there
over here we sit eight in the afternoon where we come and we gather and spend a good time also here it's the smoking area that that's the famous place where I live Like there's no colors, there's no life, too rigid. But we need to find the beauty in such places to keep on going on. Yeah, like you were saying, you watch the airplanes. From the yes, sky, count right? the airplanes. Sometimes you just need to find a way to spend your time. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we get crazy. Sometimes you nothing to do. Mm. Nothing to do. So I just go to the park and feed the ducks. Uh, there's a very beautiful, huge park, and they have dogs and geese in it. Feed them bread, feed the pigeon. Whatever country you are living in, no matter what the weather, sky is always available for you. you just yeah. you know, come out. Uh, sky represents freedom. Yeah. How do I explain to my child, art gives me freedom, while man is unable to? How do I explain to you, how a painting never refused a war, nor a war a painting? Art, actually, is non-verbal way to express yourself. You don't have to explain. And also, sometimes we can't explain. Mm -hmm. It's just there. Or we, we can't understand. But you can express yourself, relieve yourself through uh, expression. Mm -hmm. um, I think yeah, this is a very, very healing process. Mm -hmm. So my psychologist and also my own uh, expressions through art made a big difference uh, of the healing process and understanding even what is going on. Mm -hmm. I th it was interesting because, because people will see how we are living our lives, how we spend our day. You know, unfortunately I couldn't record more because a lot of people were, no, please, yeah, I don't want to be recorded. And my friend Ali, uh, he never go in any pictures. He thought that I'm going to take a picture. When he saw the camera, he, went, he, he moved backward. So it's hard to record people everywhere. But it will be really nice so people know how we live our life, how asylum seekers spend their time, what do they do in their life, what are the opportunities that they can have. Because right now, we are in a status quo condition, mm -hmm. which is not moving, sitting in our place. We have a lot of things to offer to the community and to, and to help people in different ways. We need the, the opportunity to do that. So that's what we're looking for.